Okay, so now we have alizarin crimson and cadmium red light. That's it, those two. So we're going to work on the pot again, teapot, and start highlighting. I'm using a round brush, big one, and I'm going to mix for the first, for this layer, I'm going to mix both cadmium red light and alizarin crimson. Let's see. Okay, good. That's good. Because I don't want it to be too highlighted yet. Not yet. Not a strong highlight. This is kind of our second layer. So don't push too hard uh, on your on your uh, brush because uh, alizarin crimson is a transparent color. So if you push too hard, you're pushing the color around and it shows then, if you push too hard, then you'll see um, brush strokes, which I'm seeing anyway, already on mine. That's okay, because we're gonna have one another layer. This is medium. Medium tone. I like to I like to be careful when I'm doing this, working with red. I don't like to jump from dark to light right away. Good. Lovely. Oh, I love this color. It's working very well. Mm. I'm going to let it dry, and then we'll do another layer. Okay. So now I'm taking a cadmium red light, and I'm going to start highlighting this area right here, this circle right there, because that's what is in focus, kind of. And I'm using a round brush. It's going to, I think it's going to take more than one layer to get that smoothness in there. It's only cadmium red light? Yes, yes. Is it too much? Are you finding that's too strong? It dries darker. Mm -hmm. Voila. Let's do this. Highlight it here too. And there. It's going to dry darker, I'm sure. Nice. <clears throat> it's okay if you take it down a bit as well to the bottom of the pot the highlight because um, we just just keep in keep in uh, keep an eye on this section right here it's a bit darker this section so if um, like I did right now I actually went over it I'm going to put a lizard and crimson again over here just to keep the section darker it helps when you're doing when we're doing when we're putting the uh, the dots and the reflections and, you know, to, to have the right, um, the right values in here, like the darks and lights. Okay.
Mike. Now the pot itself, when you look at it in the picture, it's really not a cadmium red light. It's not an orangey pot. It's it's a, a red. It's more like a a purple red, um, but it has a bit of purple in it in the dark places, dark dark area. Oops, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that this part here is highlighted the right way. This is the most important part because that's where the highlight is. And I'm gonna let it dry and then do another layer, one more layer of highlights over here. This is really an important part. The rest is okay. So I'm just gonna meanwhile highlight just the top here, just a bit. And switch to a smaller brush, round, take a lizard crimson, and then just make sure that this part is still a bit darker here. Because this is where, th the reason I'm doing this is just because the, the pot is not flat on top here. What ha what's happening is that the, the, top, uh, the pot in this area here, this right there, turns out. So you can see it on the sides, it turns out. So when it turns out, this part over here on top will have to be a bit darker. When blending something like this, don't push hard. If you push too hard on your brush, hold your, I'm holding my brush. I'm not holding it close because that's what it's going to make me push harder. Hold it a bit far away from the, from the tip. Good. Okay, bit of lizard again over here. Lovely. <clears throat> okay. Right, so now uh, we would we'll do the reflection in, on the pot. So reflection of the whatever is here. Did we um, draw it across like you are? Pardon? Did we draw it across like you are? Uh, yeah, it's easier, easier to do if you drew, if you drew uh, just a, a little bit of a, you can't see it, you can't see what, a, you can see a bit of that line I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, in, in anything black, white, it doesn't matter. Um, and just kind of draw a kind of, you know what, I'm going to use black. Let's see. Yeah, because the, 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 I can, I can use black for this because the, uh, <clears throat> the it's going to be a dark, it's going to be a dark red. So it doesn't matter if I use black. <clears throat> and it doesn't really need to be uh, exactly the same what you see in the picture, just kind of a, a suggestion of what you see kind of 
to make it look like stripes, stripes reflecting in the pot. It, they fan out those, those lines. So they start from a little kind of a bit of a closer to each other and then they fan out. Again, keep going all the way to the back. Okay, I simplified them a bit, especially, especially in this corner right here. I just kept going, simplify it. Now, what else do we need to do? Um, maybe a bit, nah, I don't think we need to do anything here. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a, a pattern reflected something. I don't know. So I'm just going to. Do, <clears throat> do you think it could be a, a, like actual indentation in the pot where the handle goes on? Mm, this right here looks like a reflection of something that's reflecting from this side. Yeah, something right there reflecting here. So whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We'll just kind of do a bit of a movement in here. We're not, get, you know, we're not going to go too much into this. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, um, having said that, I'm going to be taking cadmium red light, and I'm going to try before we do anything to, because there's a, a bit of a highlight right here. And we're in between, and a bit of highlight where the uh, in between the uh, the 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 uh, red reflection stripes uh, because of the highlight of the reflection right here, the lighter part. So I don't want to put white. I'm going to try to see if I can use a, um, titanium buff with red instead of white. Let's see, because I want this subtle kind of uh, highlighted red, but not with using, you know, using white. I don't want it to be pink. Let's see if I take a bit of titanium buff and I add it here to, let's see. Yeah, I think that works. Wow, yeah, that does work. Just straight titanium buff? No, no, titanium buff mixed with uh, cadmium yellow light, uh, cadmium red light, sorry, cadmium red light. Okay. Stripe that you did, I know you did it in black pencil. Yes, I did the, the, the dark red part. I did this part in, in pencil, the black pencil right here. Yeah. Just the, you know, the, the, the red stripe. And I'm gonna come here, because that this part as well of the pot right here is highlighted right there. And if you wanna use paint, do you do a zero crimson and black or something instead of a pencil? Instead of using a pencil, you don't want to use a pencil. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Do you, do you use black and Azerian crimson or, or no? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, use Elizabeth crimson only. Okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. See, already it looks like it's uh, something is reflecting in here. The edge of the table. Now, uh, let's take at this point, a um, bit of alizarin crimson, mix it with cadmium red light and blend it in here because I don't want to take the highlights all the way down. So I'm going to wet this part 
with alizarin crimson and cadmium red light. And I'm gonna go back to the highlight I was doing here and then blend softly. Great. My brush, I usually, what I do is when I start blending, um, I, I load my brush with color, but at the same time, before I start using the color on the canvas, I wipe a bit of that paint off of the brush so it's not loaded there. What color do you use for lightning? Did you do buff as well? So I, I, used, uh, cad, uh, I used titanium buff and yes. cadmium red light. And okay. cadmium red light. Oh, Both. just those two? Yeah. Okay. Perfect, excellent. Now, since I'm doing this, I'm just gonna come over here and just uh, with the same color, um, titanium buff, cadmium red light, um, just kind of draw a couple of little beautiful, nice, Something is reflecting here and it, part of it is the handle. Perfect, getting good coverage here. All right, now. And let's wet my brush a bit, load it, wipe it. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. Okay, let's work on the uh, on this part. So I'm going to take combination of cadmium red light and alizarin crimson, and I'm going to start highlighting where it's lighter. Now the reason I did this uh, both colors at the same time. First, I want to see, um, I would like to kind of establish where the highlights are and then and the darks before I start highlighting just with cadmium red light. This will give me a good idea. Now, I know it's not exactly the same what I'm doing here, but it's good enough. Okay. And those, those uh, stripes, they're lighter. Um, you'll see in a minute, once I start highlighting with cadmium red light only, you see that they're uh, lighter in certain areas, even one stripe is lighter in certain area and then when it goes in down it's darker good. okay good i'm gonna keep the ones in the back dark and i'm gonna darken them a bit more again even more so here
again, because this color red that we see in here is more like a crimson. It's not really red. This is the first one we put, first layer. Okay, and we, uh, I'm going to be cleaning up all this with the white. So I know it's like mud, smudgy right now, but that's okay. I'm going to take cadmium red light right now and just come here. Try to highlight with a smaller brush, narrower, round. Okay, just where the fabric goes up. Again, right here. And just. Try not to take your highlights all the way. To the bottom part. Okay, but it starts to looking, it's starting to look uh, kind of interesting. Okay, again. This color will dry darker. Perfect. Okay, we don't need to work too much on this part because really this is not the focal point. So, and uh, I don't want them to look, uh, I don't want it to look too, uh, too strong. These wavy lines are strong. We still have the cherries to put there and we still have some detail in here. So just a bit is enough, a bit of detail in here. Okay, I'm gonna, this is Payne's Gray, taking Payne's Gray with Elizabeth Crimson lots more alizarin crimson than Payne's gray. And I'm just gonna darken the red behind the pot. As dark as I can go. Okay. Perfect, that's good, that's good, good. I will be probably making those lines smaller or narrower once I put the white in there. Okay, maybe here too, closer to the pot. Closer to the bottom of the pot. 